video about the arched arms just to clarify a few things i've already gotten a couple people sent me deposits and a bunch of other questions um when i say you can't use a half a two inch lift that's because it already has the max lift built into the bottom shock mount um so this is this is just the weight of the bike right but that's um it's half an inch higher without just just the, just putting my arms on on stock shocks preload setters are the second to the lowest preload and it's got half an inch more ground clearance as you can see than uh, with a two inch lift because the shocks are located so far out um, they're a lot stiffer because related rates and uh, geometry and moment and stuff um, so it's pretty stiff just like this you, it's a little probably a little stiffer than with the uh, high lifter lift but if you're putting arched arms it's pretty stiff um, you're looking to do some mud riding anyways but if you wanted to soften it up some um, there are ways to do that but definitely stiff, definitely going to maintain the ground clearance and not sag when the bike gets full of mud. And it's just a huge arch. You can't arch it anymore without having the axle hang out really far beneath the bottom of the arm. So you can barely see the axles on both of them. Um, that's how you want it. You want to maximize your lift. You see how these are at about 90 degrees, maybe a little higher. That's because it does have some sag, right? So there is some sag, about an inch of sag. So... If you put spring spacers, you could have no sag, and it's about a true three inch lift if you added some spring spacers. Maybe even maxing out the factory preload would give you no sag. Uh, it depends how worn your socks are, right? I've been riding it around, rides pretty good. Definitely stiff enough to where you don't need to use the sway bar. Um, but that's the main question I keep getting. Yes, it has a lift built into it. You do not need the bracket lift. If you already have the lift, just leave the back rear, the rear off. You're gonna get more clearance. Look how tall this sucker looks right now in the back. It's a little taller in the back than the front, and the front plastics curve up higher but uh, you can definitely see the, the ground clearance difference. Um, it's just huge. These are just 30 Mamba lights, which run a hair short. Um, see the difference? You can see the back if I go down far enough. There's no A-arms in the back anymore. They're all tucked into the wheel. And as with my other A-arms, the way I made the bottom of it, it tucks completely into the bottom of the wheel. If you stand right behind the wheel, you can't see the bottom of the knuckle or anything. The A-arm just goes right into the wheel. That's what you're going for, maximum clearance. But yeah, this new design came out really nice with the adjustability. I was able to tweak it a little bit and set my um, my camber exactly zero. See how straight the wheels look? Oh yeah. But uh, very happy with them. Um, got all the stuff I need. I just need to order some more Himes, but I've got enough deposits now where I'll probably order some. But they're going fast. Um, I'll probably have the first set of six uh, shipped out by Friday. So let me know. I'll put my email address in the description to this. Uh, if anyone has any questions.